Okay, I'm trying to find the old Beaver Army Ammo Depot on the Columbia River. The only thing left of this really is this trestle that's uh, fallen down up ahead. It's been totally miserable getting here. I've had to follow this coastline or the shoreline for a while and it's uh, it's real muddy. I've had to cross a couple of small rivers in that. Uh, been trying to avoid all the uh, private property, uh, fences and everything. Okay, what you see here, when I see this, I know uh, the army has been here. They used to use this for runways. But you'll see a lot of this around old, old bases. Uh, this is real popular in World War II. Got my dog with me today. He's having a good time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get wet, I guess. Okay, a little bit about Beaver. Uh, the Beaver base. They put it in in the 40s. It was a uh, way to store ammunition for the uh, World War II conflict war. And uh, anyway, after the war, business dropped off, I guess. And uh, I think in the 60s, 1960s, they closed this. And right now there's a big, it's all industrial here and uh, most of the base has been totally wiped out uh, i went up to the uh, i tried to get into this complex and there was a gate guard there that was real friendly and she told me uh pointed out that the the gatehouse that they were using was original to the fort and uh also there was a, a machine shed and then the flagpole there was original also Okay, this has taken some effort to get to. Uh, this is, uh, we're going through a heat wave. It's been uh, about 105, 100, and uh, right here on the water, it's not bad. I was at the, uh, well, I, I left uh, Puget Island, uh, took the ferry to the Washington side and went through Quincy and uh, with the help of uh, Google Earth and my GPS and all that stuff, my maps, my old maps from the 60s, I was able to locate this. But you can see this trestle now. Uh, used to go all the way around. There's a gap in it right now, you can see. They probably tore that down deliberately. And uh, anyway, what they would do is uh, they would load ships out there and uh, this is one of the main uh, places that held ammunition for the, the army, I believe, back in World War II. And these old World War II buildings especially, just, just really amazing. I wanted to get this because uh, one of these days, this is going to be gone and nobody will be able to get to it. I have never seen uh, any videos on this or really pictures. I found out from this from a lady that I lived next door to on Puget Island. Uh, oh, God, I just stepped in a mud hole. And uh, anyway, yeah, look at that. It's a, it's a worthwhile hike. It's a hard hike because uh, there's no trails or anything. You're just going through brush. Okay, that over there, that trestle there, that's all new. You can see cranes over there and everything. But this is all part of the old Beaver Army base. Okay. Well, let's go up here. Let's see if we can get through. And... You know, I think I've seen a path over here on this side. Let's see. Where did I see that? You can see where they got it blocked off. So people can't walk out here or 
you know you probably get some crazy guys like me trying to get up here and take pictures and explore like I say this is oh this is very difficult to get to there's no easy way yeah this is not one of those fun hikes <laughs> like most of them are. Seen a lot of country that I hadn't noticed before. Okay, here's the old trestle, the old train trestle. Just think of how many bombs and bullets went over that bridge. Okay, maybe this will take us. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's nothing left here. Okay, the railroad, okay, this is the railroad bed right here. Okay, let's go up here. Yeah, the rail is still intact. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Okay, this hasn't been in use uh, since the, uh, well, oh, maybe the 50s or 60s. You can see it's pretty grown up. If you guys like seeing stuff like this, let me know, okay? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a uh, comment, and uh, I'll keep this up if you want. <laughs>